Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm the old man, and uh, we got some work to do. Lots of work to do today. Um, let me. I think we're gonna actually go today. We're gonna go get some magic for Jeff and Neef. Um, because I don't think we. We're, this party's not ready to tackle the party. Not even a little. So we're, we're gonna go do that. Um, because we definitely need some more HP before we take on the. <laughs> What they've been called before, because they were like, uh, the pistol. <clears throat> and also, I think it would probably be good because the intelligence stat on this game has been fixed. Because the original NES version was programmed by one single guy. Um, and. Nope, not status. Word. There we go. Um, by one single dude, and he, as a result, like, some of this stuff's kind of broke. <laughs> like, um, not in this version, but in the original, really? In the original NES version, um, the intelligence stat is bugged, so all the spells do just the base damage. Uh, several of the spells are bugged and don't work. Any item that has supposed to have an added effect, like strong against this, that, or the other, uh, doesn't. Um, so that's usually fixed. In so would you stop killing me? Golly. Um, so what was I saying? So all that stuff is usually fixed in like Dawn of Souls and most likely this version. Um, so that I'm hoping that will kind of help us with. Giving them a little bit of magic. Because I don't, I don't want them to have necessarily a lot, but... Nope, not that. Thunder. Give me thunder, and we'll give past Oh, okay. So now everybody has... We have more thunder, because if we wander around on the sea, we need that. And I usually do not recommend playing... Um, the original Nintendo version of this because it is it's like an old one of those old cars that like you is it's fun to drive if you know how to drive it. and the NES version of Final Fantasy is fun to play golly really dang it Elfless tighten up what the heck's wrong with you we didn't even get a... Uh, slack. I don't even know if I have enough money to... <laughs> buy them. Turd. <sighs> okay, we did have enough. So, it's... It, the NES version is definitely a jalopy. So, I, I usually do not recommend... Anybody play that version. If you're, if you're playing. Um... Yeah. One thing I really like about the Pixel Remaster is that little mini-map. Like, that's so helpful. Oh, my word. Oh, no. What? These are thunder. Um, I think I'm honestly... Like, Dawn of Souls is really good, but I think this might be my favorite version of this game. This is absolutely gorgeous. The music is gorgeous. Everything about it is just very, very well done. And I'm very happy. The only thing I don't like is the font. I kind of wish the font was just a little That would have that would be everybody's level up. That's a good level up for for Alphalus. Of course everybody's all. <laughs> And the diagonal movement. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Love the diagonal movement. Oh my god. Man, if he keep dying, I'm like... Stop killing people. Basically, we're headed to the dwarf cave right now because I'm going to need money. And I would really like for... I have a sleeping bag. Yes, yes. That looks odd. 
<laughs> that I don't know what that looks like to y'all, but it looks weird. Um, yeah. So we're going to the dwarf cave because the dwarf cave has some money, and we're gonna need money because we need to get that. No, nope, thank you. Because Alphalus needs Thundara. And I would love for Jeff and Neve to have Thundara too. Um, but I don't know if that's bad. But we definitely need more experience. Because we'll never survive the Marsh Cave with this what we got here. So. And I love, you know what I love also in this version? Is the sound of the chests opening. Because it's so extreme. It's like, he's really using his whole chest to... Ooh, you think we can do this? That would be helpful if we could. Okay, it's magic. Um, using his whole chest. <laughs> Open that chest. Like, so, I... That's just... Perfect. And I don't know if this is a fight we can even win. Oh, maybe we can. It would be good. Be nice level up and a nice thumb. And nice gold as well. Or gill. It's gill, not gold. Ah, why didn't I use thunder? Dang it. <clears throat> took that. Uh, Neef took that hit like a champ. Good job, brother. Also, in the original Final Fantasy... Hey, we did good on that. That one was good. Neef's, uh... Hit points didn't go up that well. Oh, I guess they're equal with his now. In the original Final Fantasy II on the NES version, you couldn't... Like, your characters wouldn't auto-target another... enemy. Uh, yep, yeah, get out of here. <clears throat> couldn't auto-target another enemy. So, if you selected the same enemy with both characters, then your character would just whiff and it would miss, because they would just swing in that hair. So, as a kid, we kind of learned to spread our attacks around. And, yeah, we're gonna... We don't, we're gonna... We're gonna do some grinding. This video is gonna have some grinding. If you would stop... He's getting a crap slapped out. <laughs> and they're only one hit point hits, too, so the, the sea hags are like... Stop! Neve! Stop it! Just stop it. Should I go over to Provoka and get them Blizzard? I probably should. Because their weapon damage is not spectacular. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm, it's it's pollen season down here, so everybody's like... Uh, coughing and gruffing. Ooh, I got a thousand. That's good. So, let's save. A lot of safety saves. We're gonna, we're gonna be having a lot of safety saves because, oh no, I don't want this. One. Not until we get Thundara. We need to short, short hop over to Provoka to get Blizzard for my Red Mages. I guess I could get some healing spells, but we're not gonna. <laughs> Probably what I'll end up doing is when they have class change, they can uh, get Ruse. I, don't, I think it's not called Ruse in this version. It's that in the original Nintendo version. Um, we could do this one, right? Uh, I'll stop. I don't feel like... <clears throat> I don't feel like this one. Um, it's called Ruse, but it's basically allows you to... Um, it ups your evasion, so you can't... So the enemies don't hit you as much. And... Sorry, I was thinking about what commands. And now if I have those two, the two red, they'll be wizards at that point, with Ruse on, then that'll be a good solid front line. So this team would probably, be, we'd, we'd probably end up with like Poor Megan doesn't get to do anything, but likes Slice with the sword. Though when she becomes a ninja, oh boy. Um, she'll probably still be in the third rank. Um, just because I'm gonna 
because if I have, if I got those guys rused, then, you know, that'll be good. Get out of the way, please. Thank you. And I could get, I guess I could try to get better weapons, but I don't really need them. There. Neef and Jeff got Blizzard. Get out of the way. Oh, really? Come on. That guy's probably mad, though. He's like, what? What are you doing? Gosh, get off me. Idiot. Because he's being played by Napoleon Dynamite in this game. So today was a horrible day. It's a Monday. And, oh, it was just bad all around. Everything was bad today. <laughs> it, was, it was definitely a Monday. For sure. <clears throat> and oh, calls, phone calls. Because now I work in pharmacy building. So there's a lot of um, whining about copays and stuff. And the thing is, I know that older people like to say that the younger generation is entitled. But I'm going to tell you what. The most entitled people I have ever run into are... <clears throat> yep, level 6. I got you. Okay, is my thing not? There we go. Guess my thing was plugged in. Um, the most entitled people I have ever run into are older people. Uh, they, because younger people, you tell a younger person, "Hey, this is what's going on." And they're like, "Okay." You tell an older person, and they're like, "I want." Rah, 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 rah. They're always upset about something. I don't know. I might move. See, but if I she doesn't have as good armor, if I move her to the front line, like that hundred HP is gonna get is gonna get destroyed here. <laughs> yeah, so she's taking thirteen, and they're taking one. So that that probably we'll leave her in third position. Flee! Thank you. Golly, you guys, come on. Here we go. And so begins the hardest quest in the game right now. Why am I going in here? I don't want anything in here. Yeah, we don't he doesn't need to have a day. A dagger? A dagger. I ain't got I have no dagger now. Tell you what, they they just gonna go on with what he got there. Tell you what. This is Redneck Final Fantasy. I like one of them there spells. There, sonny boy. That uh, makes the lightning come from my hands. Can we do that? Uh, what else do I have? I have 700. Let's go get some supplies. Because we're going to... Is there anything good in here? I can... Iron shield, leather cap... Helmet, iron armor, defense, and weight. That's a new thing. Um, I don't think it's worth the money. Plus one defense, that's... Nah. Nah. Uh, we do need haste, so we're going to need to get some money for haste at some point. Uh, do we have antidotes? We do. Let's get a few more of those. We're definitely going to need those. A few more sleeping bags. And I think that's... Let's get a tent too, just for kicks and giggles. And then we're going to do some grinding. Probably the rest of this video is going to be grinding. And then hopefully the video after that can be the Marsh Cave. And I don't have 100 gil. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I guess we're going to go fight another battle so we can get 100 gil to stay in the end. Uh Really? Ouch. Okay. We can do this, though, right? We got this, guys. We got it. Oh, he's got Mandara, too, so... We definitely got this. And the ogres, usually, like, you want... Because back in the day, see, they said, don't go to... The marsh cave unless you're like level nine or ten. Oh, look at Alphalus. Oh my gosh. Good good man. That's awesome right there. 
Apparently I got an achievement for something. Because it has Steam achievements, which I never used to deal with or do because it was like, what am I doing with a Steam achievement? Even though I don't really, I don't really care about achievements that much. Uh, let's save, and then let's do some rest of this video. Next five minutes or so is going to be leveling up. Now, they, so they said don't go until level 8 or 9. Now that's not true. You can go in there as low as level 4 if you have a party full of warriors. Um, yeah, I'm not going to waste. We're not going to waste magic nuts. Hey, we need to get poisoned. Good job. Um, so you would spend a lot of time up here wandering around grinding for like hours and hours and hours. That's not really that necessary. Um, I would... Oh my gosh. What is happening here? <laughs> oh god. This will be nice and cool. Um, so, yeah. And I don't... Uh, now I don't do that as much, especially if you have like fighters in your party, you're a boss. Like, you don't need to do that. This is definitely a magic heavy party though. Uh let's just Thunder. And Thunder. Yeah, let's do that. It's dead. Alphalus is definitely um level up. Yay! What level are we on? Six, seven. Um, probably this party is gonna need to be a level nine or ten. But they've redrawn all the levels. Uh, the max level in the original game was fifty, and I think it's a hundred in this one. So they've redrawn everything. <clears throat> and also, we don't have any spiked squares anymore. I don't know if I explained that in the last video. Uh, but since everything in this game is made up of tiles, right? And they, in the original NES Final Fantasy, they didn't have a way to block like a good treasure without putting an enemy on it. So what they do is like the little space. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Ew. These guys aren't even worth the time it takes to put command. So they would each like tile. You could program that tile to have an encounter every time the player steps on. It. Uh, so, a lot of those in the original Nintendo would have a really, again, come on, um, would have what we call a spiked square on it, so that when you stepped on it, you would have an encounter every time you stepped on it. This doesn't have that, so all of the, anything that had a monster in front of it is now associated with the box. And so, you try to open the box, and it says you've got monsters in it. Uh, no, we're gonna... This is actually pretty amazing. We're just gonna be fun. Which is a good thing in that, you know, you don't have to run in... You don't run into it ever again. But it's a bad thing if you want to pop that square over and over again for experience and, and gill. Which, so we can't do that in this one. That's, that's all... That's all over. <laughs> they just beat the monster and then throw that chest open... As hard as they possibly can. Dang, another one of these. Um, did I also say that the encounter list is completely different? In the original, the encounter list is hard-coded. So, every time, like, and you just go down the list, and there's, like, nothing you can do about it. You accept reset the game, and you can reset the encounter list. But this has completely a completely different encounter list than the original. And there's even ones that there's encounters in this version that aren't possible in the original NES version because of the way the um, let's go refill because of the way the tiles are set up and stuff. So you'll run into stuff that just wasn't possible, which is kind of fun. <clears throat> okay, what level are we? at right now. Everybody's at level 8. Um, they've got plenty. How much? We have a thousand, so we can get somebody else. A Thundara. Yeah, we're just taking a Thundara. 
And the reason why we want Thundara is because the boss of Marsh Cave, or the mini boss rather, of the Marsh Cave, is creatures that are kind of strong against everything except Thunder. So we want, if we have enough Thundara, we can go out and walk in there and be okay. Uh, what am I looking at, Magic? That's what I'm looking at, because I want to see how many charms. Okay, so they got two charms. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. We will come back next time, do a little more grinding, and probably take out the Marsh Cave. See you then.